Hi everyone, my name is Mehmood Sheikh and from past few videos I have been working on developing a Dance Academy website using PHP, MySQL, jQuery and Bootstrap framework. In my last video I completed the functionality of developing a register and login feature and in this video I will discuss about restricting unauthorized user from accessing the private pages like dashboard pages and I will also discuss about displaying this register and login options properly and uh, I will also work on displaying the setting option as and when an admin or an instructor or a student gets logged in and in that setting drop down I will be showing a few options like uh, logout and as well as the designation of the logged in user. So these things we will be going to cover in this video. So before starting this video, I just want to tell you guys that if you guys like this video, click on like button, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. So now let us start our discussion. So now let me just first show you the problem here. Okay? This is the current website which we are working on. Now I have not logged in. Now I am on my login page and from this login page I can directly access the admin dashboard. See now it has taken me to the admin dashboard and similarly I can access the student dashboard as well. Okay, So this should not be happen these admin dashboard as well as the student and the instructor dashboard should be accessed only when those admins gets logged in. Okay, so now we need to restrict this behavior. So to restrict this, we need to go to our admin dashboard. So here I am on my admin dashboard file. So here I have included the database configuration file and I have started the session. Now here I have taken the admin user ID from the session. You guys might remember that while getting logged in, we had stored few information regarding different roles or users in the sessions. I had saved the admin user ID inside the session and the instructor user ID as well as the student user ID. So these three users users ID I had stored inside the session so I need to get that user ID from the session and I need to store that inside this variable okay now the next is checking if the admin is not logged in an attempt has been made to access the admin dashboard then it should redirect the user back to the login PHP file first section is of three columns and the second section is of nine column okay and now just for the time being I will display a message like admin sidebar and admin dashboard message okay so now let me just save it and now let's refresh the page and now when I try to access the admin dashboard so now you can see earlier it was taking me inside the admin dashboard but since now we have set up few conditions here inside the admin dashboard which says that the admin dashboard page should only be accessed only when the user or the admin logs in. Now I can access the admin dashboard only by entering the correct username and password. Now let me just enter the email and password. Okay. Now uh, when I click on login, so now you can see now I can access the admin dashboard. Okay. So now let's go back. Okay. So now the similarly we have to do for the instructor. Okay. So what I will do, I will just copy this and I will paste it out here and then here I will change it to instructor. Okay, instructor user ID save it because in the login PHP file you can see there is an instructor user ID I had saved inside the session so I will be using the same thing okay I will just copy and I'll paste it here and it should be instructor dashboard okay and I will copy the same piece of code and I will put it in the student dashboard and here I just need to change it to 
student I will paste it out here so now I have set up the conditions for all our admin dashboard instructor dashboard and then student dashboard okay so now let's refresh okay now I will try to access the student dashboard okay so now you can see it's redirecting me back to the login page okay. enter now you can see it is not allowing me to access the instructor dashboard as well okay. so now we need to check the logout feature okay so here I have a file the name as logout okay so here in in this file I have already written the code okay I have already I have actually created a file with the name as logout PHP and then here I have started the session and then I have destroyed the session and then immediately after destroying the session I am redirecting the user back to the login PHP file okay so now I will just save it and first I will log in as an admin okay and now I will log out then it will redirect me back to the login page okay so this is everything about restricting our private pages to be accessed by unauthorized user okay so now we will work on displaying the register and login options here on the navigation menu and as well as we will also work on displaying the settings drop down okay so exactly like this okay here register and login options are there to do this we need to go to header php file and inside this i have accessed the url address bar so i am trying to access this url address so based on this address i will be displaying appropriate message okay so whenever the user will be on the login php file i will be displaying the register link here and whenever the user is in the register page i will be displaying login link okay so to do that i have accessed the url so next i have written down few if conditions okay so now this url will return me the url of the current page okay based on that i will be checking whether the current page is the login page or the register page okay next here as you can see i have written down few if else if conditions okay so now how this if else conditions work is here with this if condition here i am checking if the person who is logged in is a student then i will display a settings drop down which contains an unordered list with few list items first is student and then second one is logout option okay then similarly i will be doing whenever an instructor gets logged in whenever an instructor gets logged in i am displaying the same settings drop down here okay as you can see here an ordered list but when an instructor gets logged in i will be displaying in message as instructor in this list item and then this one is same logout and the same thing i will do for the admin so now let's refresh okay so comment this to else if okay. and now let's refresh the page and now i will log in as an admin okay now you can see there is a setting menu is displaying which has two list items okay so now i will log out and i will log in as an instructor okay so now since I have logged in as an instructor, that's why instructor dashboard label is displaying. And now when I click on this drop down, instructor will display. Similarly, when a student gets logged in, the different list item will display. That is student list item along with the logout option. Okay. So this is everything about displaying the settings drop down whenever an admin or an instructor or a student gets logged in. So now the next else if I have written to display appropriate register and login links okay so now here i am checking see if the admin is not logged in or an instructor is not logged in or a student is not logged in and if currently open page is the login php 
page then i will display register okay later and then in else if part i will be doing the same thing but with a different url okay so here also i am doing uh, i am checking if the admin or an instructor or a student three of them didn't get logged in and the current page is the register page then i will display the login link okay so now let's refresh so now as i had said currently open page is the login php page and right now none of the three users are logged in and the currently open page is login php file that's why here i am displaying register link okay so now if i go to register then it will display login option so now i will log in as an admin okay so as you can see here the drop down will display admin and logout okay then when i try to log in as an instructor okay instructor will display okay so in this video we have seen various features like uh, uh, restricting unauthorized users from accessing private pages and then we saw displaying a register and uh, login links in appropriate situations and we also saw how to display the settings drop down whenever any user gets logged in okay. so i hope you guys like this video if you guys like this video click on like button share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and i will see you guys in my next video where i will be discussing on some other feature okay thanks for watching